Branding is really important. You've got audio branding and you have visual branding. I want you, after you finish listening to my podcast and to my show, I want you to go to your favorite podcast platform and I want you to have a look at the logos of the podcasts that you see. And you will see that there might be some consistency in terms of the podcast. Very often organizational podcasts will have a name that suggests what it's doing. Other podcasts where the host is the brand, it's usually their name is in that title. So think about the logo and the visual branding because the podcast platforms will require that off you. So have a look at others for some creative ideas. The next thing you need to think about is audio branding because, of course, this is an audio piece of content. You're going to have to have your own jingles, your own intro, your bed music, your outros, maybe section jingles. Um, and you can do that by hiring somebody who's involved in radio production or podcast production. One tip here, make sure that your audio is licensed to you and it is royalty free. Um, have some fun with that. The creative process and setting up a podcast is a lot of fun. Then you want to think about the pillar messages that are going to appear in your podcast. So for me, I think about strategy, I think about marketing tactics, and I also think about work plans and work processes. Those three pillar messages are very, very important to you, my audience. And so when I'm planning my episodes, and I usually plan my episodes for every quarter. So I'm usually preparing 10 to 12 show themes and then batch producing every month. And so I always think about my pillar messages and I also think about what is trending. I might also crowdsource ideas for my podcast as well.